Hello, guys. Um, today we are uh, looking at uh, application of uh, derivatives in the rate of change problems in calculus. Uh, Hossein is here today to help me uh, solve this problem. Uh, hello, Hossein. How are you today? Hi, Amir. I'm good. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Time flies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, let me just read the problem for you uh, so our audience better understand it. Uh, a sphere rubber balloon is being filled with water at a rate of 1,000 uh, millimeter cube per second. At what rate is the radius of the balloon increasing uh, when the radius is uh, 50 millimeters? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have that... Uh, uh, a spherical balloon, uh, as we can see, the radius is lowercase r. Uh, the volume is increasing at the rate of 1,000 millimeter cube per second. So uh, please uh, help us find the rate of radius when the radius is 50 millimeters. OK. Um, yeah. The floor is yours. Uh, it, sound, it sounds very really straightforward problem. It's application of uh, derivative rate of change. So I see the. Mm -hmm. The volume is increasing at the rate of 1,000 cubic millimeter per second. So I would say if the volume is V, um, mm -hmm. so I can say D, let me change the color to probably green. So uh, if <clears throat> V is the volume of the sphere, then DV, over time, Vt equals 1,000 cubic millimeter mm -hmm. per second. And it is positive because the volume is increasing. That's correct. And um, so uh, also we know that the volume of the sphere is uh, actually 4 third pi r cubed. R is the radius of the sphere. So That's correct. That's the volume of a sphere, the famous formula. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, um, so the change of volume over time, dV over dt, is the derivative of um, this equation. So dV over dt with respect to time is equal to 4 third pi. The only variable is R which is changing with mm -hmm. respect to time. So mm -hmm. uh, based on the, the derivative knowledge uh, that Hussain, we have. Uh, what? Hussein, I have a suggestion. Uh, mm -hmm. We can just simply reuse the uh, chain rule, you know, because a volume is in terms of R here, and then the R is in terms of T. Mm -hmm. So we can, uh, I know that you are going to use uh, directly the formula, mm -hmm. but uh, perhaps for audience to better understand, we can write down the chain rule uh, such that, you know, we have dV over dt. On the side. dV over, right. yeah, yeah, okay. on the side. Uh, yeah. Let me write it on this side. Uh, so dV over dt because V is a function of R. So dV Correct. over dt is dV over dr with respect D to R, R and then Correct. dr with respect to t. Correct, because we know that R, the radius is changing, is increasing right. with respect to time. Mm -hmm. Right, this is a chain rule. Yeah, that's the chain rule. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now getting back to the equation that we had. So the derivative of this equation, fourth third pi r cubed with respect to r is fourth third pi times three r squared. Mm -hmm. And then we have dr over dt with respect to time. Correct. So mm -hmm. this portion is dv over dr, mm -hmm. and this is this is dr over dt, which is the yeah. the chain rule that I I wrote on the side. Mm -hmm. And 
Okay, let me simplify this mm -hmm. further. Yeah. So I can cancel this three and this three here. Yeah. So if I rewrite the equation, I have dv over dt uh, equals to four pi r squared dr over dt. And then I need to, um, I need to isolate this dr over dt because this is what I'm looking for in this uh, problem. Mm -hmm. So this and, uh, dv over dt is, that, is a known value. Yeah, we know that four pi r squared is the surface area of the of a sphere, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is the yeah. surface of this. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Please go ahead. So, uh, dr over dt is equal to 1 over 4 pi r squared then dv over dt. Correct. Now, I have dv over dt. I have it here. Um, so it's given 1,000 cubic millimeter per second. That's correct. And then R, the radius at the time that we wanted to calculate the rate of change is 50 millimeter. It's also given in the problem. Mm -hmm. So Correct. I'm going to plug in those numbers. So dr over dt equals to 1 over 4 pi. R is 50 millimeter squared times mm -hmm. 1,000. Uh, is the value of dv over dt and yeah, yeah, uh, i think the units mm -hmm. yeah the units are consistent because this 50 is in millimeter and this 1000 is in millimeter squared per second so i don't need to cube, convert yeah, any units. millimeter cube per a second. millimeter yeah. cube sorry yeah and then denominator 50 is millimeter to the power of two so it's millimeter squared yeah right in the denominator and I expect to get uh, the unit I expected to be uh, millimeter per second because this is the rate of change of Correct. radius with respect to time. Yes. Okay, let me use yeah, my I, calculator. If you want, I can help you with that. Okay, yeah. So, yes, 1000 divided by 4 times pi times 50 squared. squared. Okay, it's uh, uh, 0 0.032. 32 millimeter per second. And this is a, also right. a positive value. And it makes sense because, you know, when the volume is increasing uh, with respect to time, the radius, the radius of the sphere also increasing with respect to time. That's correct. Yeah. If we had decreasing, we, uh, we would get a negative a value. Negative value, yeah, that's right. correct. Uh, OK, yeah. uh, that's uh, a straightforward problem. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Hussein, for helping no me uh, solving this problem. Actually, uh, that's the application of derivatives in uh, rate of change for calculus problems. And if... Uh, uh, you like our video, please uh, hit the notification bell and uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, hopefully you have a wonderful year, wonderful new year. And until the next video, cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Amir.